In this module, we shall discuss investments into gold. Gold is a commodity which has fascinated many. Normally, in the context of Indo Pak subcontinent, people say that women they are fascinated by gold. But I can tell you, it is not only women, a lot of investors they have been really impressed by the performance of gold as an investment commodity. Impressed by this very good performance of gold over a very long period of time, some fund managers came up with the idea that they should be setting up an Islamic gold fund. They thought that this would be uh, an easy task. It would be just like any other commodity fund. However, gold as a commodity is very sensitive commodity in Islamic law. There are six commodities which are known as ribavi commodities and gold is one of them. So they are gold, silver, wheat, barley, dates and salt. These six ribavi commodities according to a hadith of Prophet wasallam, can only be exchanged on spot. So a quantity of gold for gold can only be exchanged on spot. And also, in case of gold and silver, whatever are the rules on currency, they become applicable as well. So, for example, gold cannot be bought and sold on a deferred payment basis. Okay. So, there are some limitations on exchange in gold. So, coming up with an idea, to set up an Islamic gold fund posed a lot of problems for that fund manager. And they actually initiated a huge investigation research project to see whether gold can be used as an investment commodity in a Sharia compliant way. I would not go into the details of that exercise. However, I would like to start with uh, an easy point. It is permissible to buy, sell and invest in gold with limitations. Of course, anyone can buy it. We buy gold and we sell gold as well. Investment in gold in the sense that you buy the gold and hold it and wait for appreciation in its value. Now, gold and silver are two things which have been mentioned in the Quran and in the Sunnah, whereby you know there are a lot of negative things attached with the iddikhar, with the storing of gold. उन अहदीस से ऐसे लगता है कि ये कोई अच्छे मुसलमानों का काम नहीं है कि गोल्ड और सिल्वर को इकट्ठा करते रहें और गिनते रहें तो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस कोनोटेशन गोल्ड इज एक्चुअली क्वाइट सेंसिटिव ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन इन्वेस्ट इन गोल्ड यू कैन बाय गोल्ड एंड होल्ड इट नो व्हेन यू आर होल्डिंग गोल्ड फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्पसेस स्पेशली इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस इन दिस कमोडिटी केस Zakat becomes uh, applicable. Of course, Zakat is applicable in case of other business as well. But here, it's a very clear cut case. If you have accumulated 1000 grams of gold, a kilo gold aapke paas hai, and this is your investment, you have to pay Zakat on an annual basis on this one. So, whatever be the return on gold, on an annual basis, you have to give away 
2.5 परसेंट ऑफ एटलीस्ट द इनिशियल परचेज प्राइस उसमें भी कुछ कंट्रोवर्सीज हैं कि जिस पे आपने खरीदा है उस प्राइस के ऊपर जकवात है कि बाद वाली के ऊपर जो कि बढ़ गई हुई है लॉट ऑफ पीपल दे वुड लाइक टू टेक द रिलैक्स व्यू दैट द जकवात इज ऑन द अमाउंट विच यू पेड सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू दो डिटेल्स बट द पॉइंट इज that you have to actually take away 2.5% from the return which gold as an investment is giving to you now because rules of trading and investing in currencies become applicable in case of gold the investment in gold becomes actually very restrictive especially in case of gold funds now if there is an islamic gold fund investors would be investing in there would be a fund manager who would be managing the money by way of buying and selling gold ab ye fund management itna koi seedha saada kaam nahi hai so when someone invests in a fund they actually buy shares into that fund and if those shares are bought and sold in secondary market for a higher price or lower price that is very very problematic when the underlying asset is gold because this would have implications for riba or interest because of this although gold as a commodity is very attractive from investment view point in a sharia compliant it is not as simple as many would have imagined